Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the TM30. I've done another video contemporaneously with this one where I discuss it in a more general sense, but to put a kind of a fine point, a finer point on it, for folks that have already been in the system, landlords who've been using it, hotels also, for example, but even standard users who may own their own condo, for example, TM30 is, they're rolling out a new online system and those who are already in the system apparently need to re-register. Thought of making this video after reading a recent article from The Phuket News, that's thephuketnews.com. Article is titled, Landlords Hotel Managers Urged to Re-Register for Online TM30 Reporting. Quoting directly, all property owners who were already registered in the previous system must register again, said an announcement by Phuket Immigration posted online yesterday. However, the system will automatically approve all previously registered users, the note notice said. So kind of an odd redundancy there. They got to re-register, but there will be automatic approval. Don't exactly know how that works. Now, as we've noted, and, and I'll just go ahead and quote, quoting directly again from the Phuket News earlier in the article, thephuketnews.com. Immigration offices throughout the country have urged real estate owners and managers to register in the new online system for notification of foreign tenants, which replaced the old one starting yesterday, and yesterday being September 15th. So we're past that now as of the time of this video. Yes, it is required. The old system has been phased out, if you will. The new system is now the new requirement if you're doing this online. For those who are unaware, yes, analog TM30s are still possible. It's still possible to go file a TM30 by paper format, by going to an immigration office and filing there. But many folks who deal with the TM30, I'm sure find that probably dealing with it online is a little less of a hassle than dealing with it in person. But the thing to understand is, yeah, this is sort of an overhaul. Folks that are already in the system, you're not going to be moved over automatically. You have to go back in and sort of re-enter everything, presumably, but you'll be automatically, you know, verified or whatever. And again, kind of we're sitting here at the beginning of this thing, seeing how all this shakes out remains to be seen. We'll certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves.